In this video, we're going to talk a bit about the untrimmed CAD export file types here in OpenVSP. And in the export window, you'll see a few options here. We're looking for untrimmed step and untrimmed IGES. The structure exports have to do with the FEA mesh components, and we're not going to talk about those here. Further, these untrimmed options are going to treat each of the surfaces in your model as if they are single components. And so it's not going to run any type of intersection routine where it will trim these components with respect to each other. So it's kind of what you see on the screen here is what you're going to get. I also want to point out that CAD export is not using the resolution that you see on the screen in any way. CAD export is actually exporting the underlying Bezier surfaces directly to step in IGES. And so you're getting effectively a pure representation of that surface out to the, the CAD format. So let's take a look at the step version here to see a few of the options available to you. First off, we have to pick what units the model is built in. So in this case, we have access to millimeters, centimeters, meters, inches, feet, yards even. And let's pick feet just for fun here. We can adjust the tolerance of the values that are written out to the file. We can choose to split the surfaces along their feature lines or leave those alone. We also have, if you'll recall, subsurface types like uh, lines where you can split along constant U or W lines. So you can choose to include those or not. You can choose to omit trailing edge surfaces. So in this case, that might be uh, either from a sharp trailing edge where the collapsed trailing edge surface is down at zero you might want to omit that if that's causing problems with your export. Or if you have a blunt trailing edge and you want to leave that trailing edge open like a gap, as opposed to having a flat plate back there, um, for whatever reason, if a solver that you're looking for wants the CAD in that type, then you can choose to leave those out as well. You can also choose to demote the surfaces from their full Bezier representation of say nth degree down to cubic, uh, with a tolerance associated with that. And like with some of the other file export types, you can choose to export propellers at the origin. Now again, this is just in case you want to isolate a propeller and export it out in the global origin so that when you import it into something else, you can place it in that model's coordinate system rather than having to do the translation and figure out how to place it relative to what it, where it was in OpenVSP. So we make that a single button option. All this stuff down here at the bottom has more to do with figuring out your flavor of either step or IGES because there are a variety of different formats that technically classify as step or IGES. And so reading that into whatever program that you have can be kind of tricky. Um, so if you already know what kind of step file your CAD program is looking for, you can use some of these options to try and set your model up so that you can essentially set your tool chain connections and your connections in between OpenVSP and your CAD to be as good as they can be. So you save yourself a lot of headaches down the road. So let's go ahead and export this out just as a step file for an example. And I've already brought this file into PTC Creo as an example. So you can see that what comes into Creo is pretty darn close to what we see in the OpenVSP model. The surfaces do in fact uh, pass straight through the pod. So if we go to a hidden line view here, you can see that these are all inside the model. They haven't been intersected in any way. It's all just right here. And, uh, and so even though you know, these surfaces aren't intersected, it's still a pretty good representation of the surfaces here in CAD. So we can go through our own processes of intersecting the curves and solidifying the model if we want to or simply using these as references and, and building an underlying structure, creating the airplane just from this OML. But those are a few examples of how you can go from OpenVSP to CAD using the untrimmed CAD export options. And again, try and set up your process to go to your CAD software in a way that makes it easy for the CAD software to read these files in. So an easy way to do that is to export, say a step or an IGES from the CAD software itself compare the two file types and see if there are any differences and try and set it up so that you know you're going to have as much success as possible when you come in to your other software.